share this video for us. Next time I come live, maybe on TikTok, Jesus is God. We are going to focus on this topic too because some people, they want to deny the divinity of Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. The way is the only way. This statement, no prophet could make this statement. Muhammad never said, I am the way. Muhammad never said that. He said, I don't, Muhammad said, I don't know what will happen to me. He doesn't know what will happen to him. Jesus said, I am the way. Moses never said, I am the way. Noah never said, I am the way. You have been lied to if your sheikh is telling you at the time of Moses, he was the way. You always ask the Christians, show me where Jesus said, I am God. Worship me. That is what you want from us. You want from Christians to tell you where Jesus himself said, I am God. Worship me. Why can't you show me where Moses said, I am the way? He is saying, I am the way. Why can't you show me where Muhammad is saying, Prophet Muhammad is saying, I am the way. Just like you were demanding from us to show you where Jesus said, I am God. You see the logic? The Sheikh Zakanaik and Ahmed did that, lied to you and said, at the time of Muhammad, Muhammad is the way. Did Muhammad claim that he is the way? No. Did Moses say he is the way? No. Did Noah say he is the way? No, did Abraham, can you give me the verse where Abraham is claiming to be the way and the truth? How can a prophet, a prophet be the truth? Al-Haq. In Islam, Al-Haq is the name of Allah. One of the names of Allah is the truth. The truth. And that is what Jesus claimed for himself before the Quran was revealed. In Islam, the first and the last is Allah. 700, 600, getting to 700 years before Quran and Prophet Muhammad became a prophet and came, Jesus was the first and the last, according to the Bible. Jesus said, I am the first and the last. So the title of Jesus appeared in the Quran and is attributed to the God of the Quran. So in, 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 in thinking about this, Allah is taken from Jesus because Jesus is the one who said it first. In the Old Testament, God is the first and the last. Jesus said he is that God, the first and the last, in the book of Revelations. God is miracle. In the Quran, they have been taught that Allah is uncompared to nobody. Nothing is compared to Allah. So if Allah say he has a hands, Allah said he created Adam with his hands. So Allah has a hands. But you cannot assume that the hands of Allah is like my hands. You cannot assume that that's what the Muslims believe. Allah has a shin, right? People will see his shin. So the shin of Allah, you cannot assume that is the same shin as mine or as a shin of anything. That is fantastic. So if Allah say he is one, how do you know the oneness of Allah? Why can't you apply the same logic to the one? Because Allah is saying one and at the same time, he is uncompared to anything. So it is more reasonable for me to believe in Trinity, because that oneness is not normal oneness, it's something unique. Jesus is Lord. Something unique, the oneness of Allah is, just, Gabriel is also one. <laughs> the, the devil is one, Satan is one. Look, Satan is one, Satan does not beget. He doesn't have a son. <laughs> Gabriel is one, Gabriel does not eat. Gabriel doesn't eat, according to Islamic in, 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 uh, doctrine. Gabriel does not eat. So Gabriel is just like Allah. He does not beget. Gabriel is just like Allah. But the oneness of God Almighty, that's what we find in the Bible, the uniqueness. One God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is the oneness. That is the Tawhid, the true Tawhid. And Tawhid only means, Tawhid means the oneness of God. So Tawhid is not something for Muslims alone. If a pagan believer believes in one God, and this is his God, he's a Tawhid. That is his Tawhid because he believes in one God, and that is his God. The stone is his God. Tawhid means believing in oneness, the oneness God. So we Christians, we believe in Tawhid too because God is one to us. You want salvation? Come to Christ. You want salvation? Don't be deceived. As I'm telling you, don't be deceived because it is clear those who have been deceived, okay? <laughs> if it's a toy, it's what? They can be the only one's a toy, exactly, okay? So don't be deceived, okay? 
Seto SSK, uh, next time I come live, I'll try to do Jesus is God and let's see what the Muslims have to say. Or let's, let, we can also go up and check, is Jesus a Muslim? That was also a fantastic topic. Seto SSK, uh, I'll end this conversation here. Follow me on YouTube, Seto SSK. Follow me on TikTok, Seto SSK. Follow me on Facebook, Seto SSK TV, okay? Uh, and please, if you are watching me on Facebook, hit the like. Like the video and share it for me. Okay. If you're watching on YouTube, YouTube, please, I need your help over there too. I'm struggling on YouTube. Support me there too. Hit the like, leave comments, subscribe, so that whenever I come live, you will find me there, okay? And on TikTok too, I salute you. TikTok is really performing very well these days too, and I like uh, what I'm seeing. <laughs> okay, so I will just end this conversation here. May the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. I will have to end this here. None of the disciples of Jesus wrote down the original manuscript. Matthew is a known. Luke is a known. Mark is an English name. Luke is an English name. John is an English name. The Gaelic War doesn't have Caesar's name on the title, but we know it was written by Caesar because the contemporaries of Caesar attributed it to his name and the following generations did the same thing. Now, he says that Matthew is an English name. Mark is an English name and he says Luke and John are English names. Actually, no. John actually comes from the Hebrew name of Yohanan, as well as the fact that Luke is a Greek name. Mark is a Latinization of a Greek name. One of the people that wrote the Gospel of Mark, his name is Yohanan ben Aristobulus. He traveled to Alexandria, Rome, Jerusalem, Antioch, and Cyprus. His teacher was St. Peter and St. Paul. His successor was Anianus of Alexandria, and his bishopric was in Alexandria. We know that his works were the Gospel of Mark, and he actually was the author of the liturgy of St. Mark. Because the authors themselves didn't say, hi, I wrote this, that is a wrong claim. You can still attribute the work to someone, even if they don't say, I'm the one that wrote this.